show you a really interesting optical illusion and then use that as inspiration to make your own science book using some coloured paper and card. I'm going to show you the optical illusion first of all. So flashing up in front of you should be a slide with a green heart with a black dot at its centre. I'd like you to stare at that green heart for about half a minute. Don't look away. We'll then put on a plain white slide after that with a black spot in the centre and you just keep looking at that white slide and I wonder what you will see. I wonder if, like me, on that white slide, you saw a pink or red image of that heart, even though it was just a plain white slide. If you didn't get that, don't worry. Try viewing the slide in a brightly lit area on a bigger screen. Try staring at the image for a bit longer before you allow the white slide to pop up. It's called an after image illusion. And what's happening is in your eye, there are lots and lots of cells at the back of the eye and they're light sensitive. We've got some special cells called cones and they're the ones that perceive colored light. You've got cones that pick up green light, red light and blue light. What was happening when you were staring at that green heart for a long time is that those cones that received the green light became fatigued or exhausted and for a short time they stopped working. So when the white slide popped up, the white light from the white source hit that and entered your eye, but the green cones weren't working. So only the red and the blue were sending messages to your brain and that caused you to see a red or magenta -y kind of coloured uh, after image there. It's really fascinating. We're going to use that as a starting point for making our own book. I've taken inspiration from Eric Carle's Hello Red Fox and the clue, a bit like our green heart, the clue is here. Just now, the fox is not red, it's green. But using the same idea as our after image, we're going to make um, use of the optical illusions to allow an image to appear on the next white blank page. Now to make your own book, all you need is some white paper and either you could colour in the image with felt tips or pens or crayons or you could cut out some um, images from coloured card. Try and use the strongest colour you can. Don't use pastels, use these strong colours of card or colouring. You could even make a PowerPoint using some uh, clip art and some shape fill and, and other items you could think of. So I'm going to show you what I've done. I've got the left hand page here for my image to go on and the right hand page is for viewing. I put a black spot there. I've cut out some shapes, a bit like our original one, a green heart in this case, and I can stick that down or you could draw it or cut it out, it's up to you. Stick that down onto the first page. Oops. I want the black dots to be opposite each other. I want to be able to transfer my gaze quite smoothly from one black spot to the other. And adding that black spot just means you focus in the correct place on the paper so you can see the image. And already for me that's working really well. It's a very brightly lit area here. It's working really well for me already. But each person varies of course. So don't worry if you can't see it, a different colour perhaps would work for you. But for this one, um, it's quite a nice, uh, easy one to start with. 
So, you may wish to set a timer on your phone or on the clock to allow the half a minute for you to stare at the object. I've got some other ideas here. I've got a yellow butterfly. Again, the same idea. And you can have a think about what colour you think you might see after staring at the yellow butterfly. It's useful to have, as I mentioned before, a black dot or spot just opposite the one on your image to give you somewhere to focus your eye as you transfer your gaze. I'm going to pop up onto the um, video now something called the complementary colour wheel and that will give you an idea of the colour image you might see after staring at a particular colour. Interesting fact about um, doctors and nurses working in surgery, they often wear green or blue scrubs or clothing because if they were to use white clothing and they were staring for a long time at a particular uh, piece of the body, especially if there was a wound or cut, that red would then, if they looked up at someone's white gown, they would see a green after image of that particular wound or cut. So again, that's where why the doctors and nurses tend to wear green or blue scrubs. Interesting fact there, based upon the after image illusion. As we know, there is no actual image there. It's just your brain perceiving that from the white light that hits the um, surface and then enters your eye. Have a go with different colours here and experiment. Try a few things and show your family and friends and amaze them with your after image optical illusion. You can also add more than one colour to your picture as well. And you could predict perhaps what you think you might see as an after image when you have a yellow butterfly with these green spots. And again, you can make up whatever you'd like as a combination. I quite like this one where I've got the stem and leaves in red and the petals in green. As you know from our previous experiments and investigations, you will probably see an after image with a green stalk and leaves and the flower will appear red as the after image. So experiment, have fun, make your own book and enjoy.